Hello doll fans and welcome back to Beauty Inside a Box and Merry Christmas! It's the most wonderful time of the year and as a lot of you may know, Christmas means that Barbie brings out her annual holiday doll. They've been making holiday Barbies every year since 1988 and I am the proud owner of literally all of them. Last year I made a video where I spoke about every single Holiday Barbie in order from 1988 all the way to 2019 it would have been. You can watch the original video by clicking the link in the description or I'll put a link on the screen somewhere. But this year I thought I'd do something a little bit different. This year I thought I, instead of talking about the dolls in order, I'm going to rank them in order of my least favourite to my most favourite. Now remember, this is my opinion, your opinion may be different. I'd love to hear your opinion of these dolls and what your ranking of them would look like. Please let me know in the comments. And I was thinking that possibly next year I might make another video, um, do a kind of poll and do your um, rankings of all the Holiday Barbies. But this year we're doing my rankings of all the Holiday Barbies. <laughs> Remember, this video is for adult doll collectors and gift givers. If you are into dolls at all, please don't forget to um, subscribe to my channel, check out more of my videos, check me out on Instagram. But anyway, let's get on with my ranking. So it took a while for me to choose which one would be at the very bottom, but I had to go with this um, Holiday Barbie. Remember, all the Holiday Barbies, when they come out, cost around £45, which is quite expensive. And this doll is so cheap looking. Um, this one is from, I think, 2013. Um, this kind of, um, uh, snowflake material here is quite cute, but it's very fragile. I've already ripped it several times. Um, this material here looks so cheap. It looks like wrapping paper. Um, her hair is a bit messy. Uh, they haven't really done anything interesting with her. I am not a fan of this doll. <laughs> not a fan of this doll. So this one comes very last. By the way, I believe there is 32 now. Yes, there's 32, so that would have been the 32nd. Next, I decided on this doll. Um, she came out at a very similar time. I think this one might have been like 2012 or 2014, around that time. Um, and yeah, I, again, the material is really cheap. I'm not a big fan of this like applique, this sparkly um, thing here. Uh, yeah, her hair's quite cute. I mean, I don't absolutely hate this one. Um, the dress is a weird shape. I love the red, but there are loads of Holiday Barbies in red, so yeah, just not my favourite. Next is this one, same as the other ones, cheap material, um, and just uninspired design. I really don't like this, uh, lace here, um, and it hasn't been hemmed, uh, it just looks really cheap, and there's no underskirt, so it just kind of lies flat a lot of the time, which I always think is quite disappointing. Next we have this one, I feel like... Um, she suffers from similar problems that I had from the other ones. Uh, cheap material, uninspired design, but this one's a little better. This one is a little better. Um, I like her hair, very soft. This material on the underskirt is absolutely horrible. Um, but the tool material on the top is quite nice, and it's quite floaty. Um, I'm into that bit. But other than that, she's just overall quite cheap. Okay, I hate to have one of the vintage ones so low, but I just think this one's really boring, you know? It's just really boring. I like the velvet material. That's a common theme you will find with ones later down the list. I really like the ones that use velvet, because I think it works really well. It's very floaty, very festive. Um, but this one's just kind of boring. I don't really like this, like, cluster of um, beads here. I just don't really like it. But she's still cute. She comes with a little bag. That's cute. Okay, in the late, um, in the late noughties, I think it was, um, Barbie got Bob Mackie, is that his name? To design, uh, some of the holiday Barbies. And I thought his designs were awful. This is one of them. I hate this jagged edge along here. I think that looks so horrible. This thing up here kind of looks like a webbed hand, in my opinion. Um, and the sash coming down looks really awkward, and her hair is in these kind of like horrible kind of ringlets. I just, I just really don't like this one. It's just such a confusion of ideas. The next one I've got is another Bob Mackie one. Um, I just think it's really weird. Again, I don't really like this kind of weird interpretation of a Christmas tree down here. Um, I like the fact that this is all embroidered, that's nice. 
and so is this. Also, the skirt is a really weird shape. It's very flat, and then it comes out at the sides, and this weird crown on the top. Just a very confusing, weird idea. There's not much cohesion, I don't think. Next, we have this one. Uh, she's quite recent, only from a couple years ago. I'd say about five years. But the big thing I hate about this one is this plastic bit on top. I remember a big selling point for the doll at the time was that, that they had used a 3D printer to make this bit. And like, who cares? Who cares? But I really love this skirt. It's absolutely huge. Um, it has, like, quite nice movement to it, which I quite like. Yeah, but other than that, this doll is really, really cheap. Next, we have another kind of vintagey one. This one, I always forget, is even a Holiday Barbie. Like, one of the official Holiday Barbies and not one of the Playline dolls. Because she looks like one of the Play do Playline dolls. Um, I love- I like the way this looks like a coat. It's a very traditional look. This material here is quite cheap. And this doll does something which quite a few Holiday Barbies do, which I really hate, which is where the underskirt doesn't carry round into the back, it's just netting, which is kind of annoying. So the underskirt kind of finishes there, and then, you know, so you've got to keep the, you've got to keep the jacket, like, pulled over so you can't see um, where they've tried to cut corners, which, you know, when you're paying a lot of money for these dolls, they're like nearly 50 quid every year, you would expect high quality. You know? But the coat, the kind of coat design here is very cute. Um, it reminds me of the film White Christmas. I don't hate this one. This is the Holiday Barbie from this year, um, 2020. When I saw her online, I actually thought she'd be lower in my list, because I really didn't like her. I thought she might be the lowest, to be honest. Um, I just think the dress is really cheap. The material is really cheap. I like the fact that they've used gold, and it's a very bright gold. They don't use a lot of gold in the Holiday Barbies, um, so I like that. The doll's quite nice quality. Her hair's a bit poofy, which is kind of annoying, but I guess if I keep brushing it, it might eventually kind of go a bit straighter. And she actually had a belt, but I took it off, a plastic belt, um, because I really hated it. Um, overall, I just think this one's quite cheap, and not very inspired, you know? It's just like... It's just like a normal ball gown shape, but yeah, not the absolute worst. Okay, this one is I think from 2010 or 2009? I can't remember any of the years, please remind me in the comments. Um, this one's really surprisingly rare. When I was trying to find her online um, to make my video last year, I really struggled. And I don't know why she's so rare, because I don't think she's that great. Number one, um, she doesn't look very Christmassy. You know, this could be just like, Barbie could wear this like any time of year, I would say, because it's pink. The design is like not super crazy. Uh, she's got very dark eye makeup. Her hair is really knotty and tangly and horrible. Um, I don't like this cheap looking bow on the back. Uh, but, you know, the layered tool is very nice. That's one part of it I do like. Um, and overall, the quality isn't terrible. Okay. This is the very first Holiday Barbie I ever got, so she obviously holds quite an important place in my heart. Um, and I think she's really cool. I love this long, billowing kind of moment that comes out the back here. Um, it's a shame that the silver lining just abruptly stops, but, you know, it's still very, uh, it's very dramatic, and I love that. Um, I love the gold and green. Uh, she's very cute. Unfortunately, this material is very cheap, and her knee, of all things, ripped a tiny hole in it. Which is ridiculous. That's how cheap the material is. But this material on top is quite nice, and I like the way it fits her wonderfully. Um, so yeah, overall I really like this one. Um, I'm starting to... I'm starting to wonder why I didn't put this one lower on the list, actually. She's kind of ridiculous. Very ugly. She looks like a kind of doily or something. Um, yeah. It's not cute, but I kind of love how extra it is and how over the top it is. And also this year, um, you had to be part of like a Barbie fan club to get the blonde version. So the blonde version is really rare, um, and I'm really lucky I found her. So I think that's why I kind of like this one, just because she's quite rare. Um, but overall, yeah, I mean, you know, it's very over the top, it's very 90s. I think that's why I like her, but... <laughs> It's such a ridiculous outfit. Okay, this one I think was the first one of the millennium? 
or it might have been 1999, like the last one of the 90s, I can't remember, um, but she's pretty cool. I thought I would like her more when I saw her on eBay, but the thing that frustrated me was again, we had the problem with the undercoat at the front not carrying round into the back. Um, so she's just got this big heap of material hanging on the front of her dress. And, uh, I mean, I love the gold, I love the colours, she's got beautiful soft hair, this one, which is lovely. Some of the material is quite cheap and quite stiff, but overall, she's alright. Okay, this one I really like, I think she's from like, 1994 or something? I'm trying to remember, I can't remember any of the dates. But uh, I didn't really rate this one when I first got it, I didn't like her that much. Um, but over time she's really grown on me, I love the richness of the colour, I love the, um, I forgot the name of the flowers, but she's obviously based on those um, flowers you get around Christmas, and I think they've done a really good job kind of bringing the essence of that flower to life in a dress. Um, I love the little gold accents, um, it's obviously very over the top, but I like this one, I like her. Um, I quite like the fact that the dress is quite short as well, her feet stick out the bottom. It's a little bit different, I like that. Okay, here is another one that I thought I wasn't going to like that much when I saw her in the box, but then when I took her out, I really liked her. Um, again, I think it's because the velvet on the outfit gives it great movement. Um, I love the black and silver. I love the black with the silver sparkles on. Um, I just think it's really nice, and the netting on the top of her dress looks really elegant, I think. Um, overall, it's very, very late 90s, this outfit. Um, very much so, uh, very over the top, but I just really like it, I think it's really nice, it's really soft, um, yeah. Okay, here's another one that I'm surprised by how high I put her, um, not a massive fan of the star, um, it kind of reminds me of a Victoria's Secret runway, um, but I really like the cut of this dress, the shape of it, um, it's got a slit, which is quite, um, risque for Barbie, um, and it's, uh, it kind of billows out at the back, uh, which I really like. I really like the colour, the material is obviously super cheap, um, as, as it is for most um, modern Barbies, but I just really, I quite like this one, I like the shape, um, I like the dress, I like the gold and the red, very cute. Okay, this doll came out in 2019, uh, 2018 I think, um, and it was in celebration of uh, 30 years of holiday Barbies, um, and her dress is kind of reminiscent of the original Holiday Barbie, which is coming up later in the list. I really like it, you know, I love all the poofy, tall, um, Barbie's been doing this kind of, uh, style a lot recently, but this was the first time she did it, and I really like it. I love her little pearly crown, very cute. I love the, like, over-the-top amount of tulle, I love the little bow, um, yeah, I just really like this one, and I feel like it's a return of some quality to the Barbie line, which then kind of disappeared very quickly, but she's very cute. Okay, immediately after the one that celebrated 30 years, here is the original Holiday Barbie from 1988. Uh, I had to put this one up high on the list because um, of her relevance in the history of Barbie, but I think overall she's not a great doll. Um, this tool is very stiff and not very nice to touch, and the top half of her dress doesn't fit her very well. It's very loose, uh, it's like baggy, which is unusual, um, and I don't like this oversized bow in her hair, uh, but overall she is um, very cute, very festive, um, and obviously and a very important doll in Holiday Barbie history, so you know we have to give her some credibility. Okay, this doll I think is from 2010, I'm not a massive fan of the red on the white, it's an odd combo for me, but the tulle on this part of the dress is very soft, nice quality tulle, very, very floaty, and I love that about it. I love her little shawl, I just think she's very elegant and I really like her. Okay, here is the second ever Holiday Barbie, she came out in 1989. I just really like it, you know, very festive, I love the fur lining going all the way around. Oh, I love the kind of icicle design here, it looks very cute. Um, I love the little snowflake in her hair. She reminds me a lot of snow, um, I just think this is a really beautiful doll. Okay, here is another Holiday Barbie in gold. 
Um, and I just love this doll. I love how over the top the fluff at the bottom is. Uh, unfortunately, again, the undercoat doesn't carry into the back. Frustrating. Um, but yeah, I just think she's really cute. Okay, here is the Holiday Barbie, which came out the year I was born, 1992. And she is super over the top. I think that's one of the reasons why I like her. Um, also because it's my birth year, I'm a bit like, me. I love these dangling uh, crystals. That's really cool. Um, the only bit I don't really like about this dress is the bottom half. Um, these kind of weird fluffy bits going off the side are very unusual. And I don't think they really have the desired effect. I think it would look better if they were more billowing, but they're not. Um, but I love the silver, uh, she's so 90s, so 90s. Okay, this is the Millennium Princess Holiday Barbie. Um, again, as you can tell, the velvet, I love the velvet. I think it has great movement, um, and it makes the colours look so rich. I think this one's really cute, I love the little lacy moments around here. Uh, I love her crown. I think the colours of like, the dark, dark, purpley blue, um, and the silver is just such a good, such a good mix. So yeah, I really like this one. She's very classic. Here is another one from the early noughties. I think this is 2001. And I really like this one. When I saw her in the box, I thought she might be my favorite. But then when I got her out, I was a bit like, oh, hmm. Uh, the material's quite cheap. It kind of feels like a tablecloth. But it still has quite good movement, I guess. It annoys me that they're all sewn together at the back. They do that a lot. I don't know why. I love her little shawl. Uh, it's not like a super crazy out there design, um, but it's just very elegant and very beautiful, very princessy. Um, there's little uh, beading around the top here, which is very cool. Love that. This doll was made in celebration of the 20th anniversary of the Holiday Barbies, and I really like her. Um, I love the billowing silver material. Uh, I love all the netting around here with the snowflakes on. Um, she's just very classic, this doll. And she appeared in Barbie Christmas Carol, which is a classic Christmas movie. Um, so yeah, I love her. Okay, so I really like this one because of the kind of Santa theme. I think that's such a good idea. Um, I wish more of the Holiday Barbies had like a really clear theme, like one was dressed like a Christmas tree, or one was dressed like a snowman or something. Um, this one is very Santa, and probably the most Christmassy of all the Holiday Barbies. I love the material that's been used. Uh, she's just very cute. I really like her. Okay, now I am surprised I put such a modern Holiday Barbie so high up on the list, because normally they would go right at the bottom because they're all cheap. But this one I actually really liked. This one was, I think, from last year, even. And um, I really liked the material. They used a slightly more expensive material, which was nice. Um, I liked the kind of candy cane theme. Um, I thought it was very over the top. I love the bright, bright, bright red um, with the kind of pearly white and silver. It, she's just really cool. I really like this doll. Okay, here is Holiday Barbie from 1990. Uh, she, this is probably the most quintessential Barbie doll I've ever seen in my life. You know, massive pink ball gown, super 90s, uh, she's got the superstar face mould, um, super cute. I think the only reason why I don't absolutely love this one is because it's, uh, really over the top, the outfit. And also it's not very Christmassy, I don't think. I wouldn't necessarily say this was a Christmas outfit, Barbie could wear this all year round. But this doll is just so over the top. Um, so flamboyant. I love it. We are down to our last four Holiday Barbies. This one is from the 90s at some point. I just really like this one because um, I think the silvery, uh, shiny green material is really cool. Um, it has great movement. Uh, I don't really like this lacy bit underneath, but you can cover that up quite easily. Um, I love the holly on her collar. She's just so over the top. Okay, now we have this beautiful, snowy, white um, Holiday Barbie. I really like this one. She's third on my list, we're up to the top three. Um, I love the coat. I love her hair and makeup. Um, she's got like a chain hanging around here with a kind of uh, medallion emblem thing here. The only thing that I find really frustrating, I've said it for quite a few of the dolls, is the under 
layer um, doesn't go all the way around the back, which is really annoying. Um, it would be cool if you could take the coat off separately from the dress. That does frustrate me. But other than that, I just think this one is so wintry and so cool. I love the movement. She's great. Okay, now I cannot decide out of these two which one is my favourite, but I've made a decision. This one is gorgeous. This is a stunning dress. Again, I love the velvet. Um, I love the movement of it. Uh, I think the stunning, stunning red, um, almost like fuchsia colour against her blonde hair um, looks really cool. She's got a little bag. Um, this is just such a beautiful, stunning, Christmassy doll, and there's so much quality and attention to detail. Um, I just absolutely love this doll. I think it's beautiful. And she has rooted eyelashes. I mean, that's insane. Okay, and now my number one most favourite holiday Barbie. I know this is probably not going to be everyone's favourite, but I love this one. Is this one. I think she's so beautiful. I love the material, again, uh, it's so floaty, I just love the way it moves. And she's got these strands of beads hanging down all over it, which just look absolutely stunning. Um, I love the bodice, she's got a little kind of like coat thing going around the top. It just looks so cute and I love the green. Her makeup isn't great, but her hair is stunning, beautiful, golden. Um, I just really like this doll. I think she's great. Okay, doll fans, that was my ranking of every single holiday Barbie. Please let me know in the comments what you thought of my list. Let me know which dolls you'd put at the top and which dolls you'd put at the bottom. Um, next year, maybe I'll even make a list which is your list and you can vote. Um, I'll have a think about that. Please don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to my channel if you're new here. Um, click the little bell icon so you get notifications when I post new videos. Check me out on Instagram for more of my holiday doll collection. Have an absolutely wonderful holiday season. Stay safe, and I'll see you real soon, doll fans. Bye.